very happy to win. Um, some things that we would have liked to have done better um, in the second half going down the stretch, but um, there are also some things that we did pretty well. And um, um, I, I think that that's a, a very good team and um, uh, a very well-coached team for sure. And, and uh, um, you know, Mike and Jamel continue to play at a very high level. And, and fortunately tonight, when they went zone, Cam responded and, and did what we need Cam to do. So um, uh, in, in a lot of ways, our defense was better. It's, it's real interesting as a coach because uh, we, we caused them to shoot a worse percentage. And then we had our worst night defending the three. Um, in our games before this, we've been outstanding defending the three and can't keep them away from the goal. So if we can find that happy balance in there somewhere, the happy medium maybe, then uh, uh, we might have something. But uh, I'm pleased that we held them to 40%, but I'm not pleased that, that we gave up 11 threes. So I thought they got back in the game um, with energy plays. I thought we did a nice job beginning the second half of building out the lead and, and running good offense and, and getting stops. Then they started getting loose balls and offensive rebounds, and, and the, the momentum of the game changed. And, and then when the momentum of the game changed, they really started making shots. And, and that's what happens to you is, is when, you, when you give up the, the hustle advantage, um, we had the hustle advantage. They had two offensive rebounds in the first half. And, but when we gave up the hustle advantage, when they, when they took control of the hustle game, then all of a sudden the shots started going in on us. And, and so, um, but it's something we can learn from. We'd much rather learn from a victory than, than a defeat. Our guys made some key free throws there going down the stretch. And, and like I said, I was proud of them for that. We think when did the slow start offensively? We just were taking the first, I don't even know if you would call it a shot, just the first opportunity to get it on goal. And I felt like we were playing hockey, you know, just trying to, trying to get it on goal and, and um, uh, taking off balance, not playing through contact, going away from contact off one leg and shooting off balance shots. It's like, golly, what's this? So, but again, we, we, we have to learn. We have to learn what, what works for us and what doesn't. In the second half, conversely, we, we took the ball strong at the rim and got them in foul trouble, and we were able to get ourselves to the foul line. It ended up being the difference in the game, probably. So, uh, good adjustment at halftime by our players, to, and we, we talked about it. We have to go to the contact and through it, not, not away from it and shoot floaters because th that's not what we make. And, and um, so, we did a much better job in the second half. So that a bounce that your team still kind of working to find, you know, where guys embrace having maybe a little more offensive freedom, but still have to, you know, sort of reel themselves back a little. Work on their discretion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they get they get confused every once in a while with between freedom and, and confidence and and lack of discretion. There's a fine line in there, but we, we need them to be aggressive. We need them to be confident. I don't want them shooting with one eye on the basket and one eye on me. Um, but. Again, the, the start, our shot selection was, was pretty questionable. What does having Johnson as a, as a three-point weapon do to the rest of the offense when, when he's on? Well, it makes a huge difference because it, it just stretches the defense out and spaces it. And, and um, uh, again, it takes a load off those other two guys that are, that are doing yeoman's work right now. Um, so again, uh, Chris didn't have his best night. Shell didn't have his best night. Um, but uh, uh, Cam came through and hit some big buckets. They went zone, and, and Cam did what he's supposed to do when somebody goes zone. He's supposed to get himself in position to, to, to get off good looks at the basket, and he did, and, and, and they went in. You mentioned before that, that Young and Artis have a little bit more offensive freedom than the rest of the players. Um, when, when Johnson, when Cam gets in one of those, those three-point stretches, are you, are you okay with him taking, taking some tougher shots? Um, you know, I don't know about tougher shots. Um, I, I don't, I don't tell the guys this necessarily, but essentially certain guys have green lights, certain guys have yellow lights and we won't talk about red lights. Okay. Um, if you've got a green light, I don't say much to you. All right. And Cam's, Cam's light's pretty green. Now, there are certain types of shots that Cam should take. 
driving across the lane, one-legged, going away from the goal. Those aren't, aren't the kind, though. He took a couple of those. But squared up, threes, even if they're a little deep because he's got range, those, those are his shots. Um, and, and so we need to – I said to Tom Richardson today, we've got to get Cam loose more, more times than we're getting him loose right now. We've got to get him more clean looks at the basket because – his stroke is is very very good, and and so we need to try to create opportunities for him. What was it about Yell's press that was giving you trouble? What would you like to see your team do better against the press? Press didn't give us any trouble, honestly. Um, they uh, we just we threw the ball right to the middle of the floor, right where we wanted to throw it, and we we took a dribble and tried to throw it to somebody in the in the zoo, and um, uh, it wasn't the press that that caused that; it was a, a brain fart, and. Um, and I, I just saw the air kind of go, um, but no, um, that was the only, you know, it, it didn't, it, it wasn't, the press wasn't a problem. It was kind of what you get into it in, at the end of a game. Team's pressing. They haven't been pressing the whole game. And you've got a five or six point lead, so nobody wants to make a mistake. Nobody wants to be overly aggressive because if you're too aggressive, then you get trapped, you turn it over. But nobody, you know, so there's just a real fine line in there of, of how you're trying to play. And honestly, we hadn't been in that situation yet, which was great that we, we encountered it. And again, I would have rather not had that one turnover. But other than that, you know, we were, we were fine. And, and again, that, that wasn't caused by the defense. We just took one dribble and jumped up and, and saw somebody over there, like I said, in the student section we wanted to give the ball to. How much do you guys work against the press in practice? Um, some. I, I wouldn't say that it's um, – I mean, we press, and, and so just kind of by nature of, of our own defense, we press some. And, and um, uh, But, again, we're, we're going to need more work as the season goes along. But I, I was fine. We, we, we moved to open spots. We got the ball. The guys are going to make free throws. I mean, we were we, – we were – we were fine um, in, in the in press offense, I, I, again except for the one, and that was that was our own our own doing. But um, um, but again, it's the first time we've been pressed at the end of a game, and so our nerves were a little were, were a little bit more on edge. It felt like to me, maybe it was just my nerves. Our guys looked fine. Maybe I was just a little bit more nervous. I don't know. What did you like about your three point defense? And, uh, that we gave up too many. <laughs> and and well I, well we we here, here's the thing that bothered me was we, we said, okay, they've made, they've made 19 three-point shots going into tonight. 16 of them were made by two different guys. If I brought all 14 of my players in here, they could say, who's made all their threes? They would say 24 and 32. Because they must have heard me say it 20 times. 24 and 32, 24 and 32, 24 and 32. 24 and 32 had seven of their, of their 11. Okay, so um, on out of bounds play, they run an out of bounds play, and we have a guy that's guarding 32, and he just kind of turns and runs out to the corner, doesn't get screened out there or anything, and we're not near him. And it's like, okay, um, I'll probably talk about that in the film session. But uh, it's um, um, these guys are 18 to 22 year old. The, 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 you know, if they were. Uh, if they were professionals, <coughs> then some of these things wouldn't happen, but they're not. They're college guys, and they make mistakes, and so we have to help them learn and grow and get better and improve, and that's my job. And, um, and, and, that's, and they're, good. They're, they're good about coming back the next day and trying to learn from their mistakes, and, and they've been very coachable. So we, we have to just – we played better defense tonight. Our three-point defense wasn't as good, but our defense was better. So we, we have to de just keep trying to, to improve on it. Talked to New York about taking care of the ball, hit 13 assists to five turnovers. Uh, did, you, did you see a particular uh, focus? or? or no, nah, you know what, I, I think that that was a function of two teams play, that play defense kind of packed in and, and let you run offense so much, but you're, you're, you're gonna, we're trying to defend the goal and not take your ball as much. And, and so, um, I, yeah, we, we, <laughs> one of the benefits of taking a lot of bad shots is you don't turn the ball over. You know, so we took a bunch of bad shots early, so we might have we might have cut our turnovers down by doing that. And um, uh, but 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 anyway, we're um, hopefully we'll be a good ball care team. At third, I'd take 13 assists and five turnovers every night. I, I promise you that. I, I told Dick Groat that on the uh, 
he told me 13 assists weren't enough, and I, I told him they were when you had five turnovers. So, um, uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll take those kind of numbers every night as a team. How do you, how do you feel like your ball movement was today on offense? After the first five or six minutes of the game, pretty solid. You know what? Uh, we just dribbled down and shot the first. Like I said, it was it was just like we were trying to get shots on goal, and um, and um, so. Um, but after the first five or six minutes, I thought we settled in and ran pretty good offense. I, again, I, I think they're a good team. I, I, I think uh, I, we played them a couple years ago when I was at Vanderbilt, and, and, and it took us double overtime to get it done. And, and uh, I, really, I really think a lot of highly of their coach. I think he's very good. You're happy with eight blocks tonight. How important was that to your overall defense? <laughs> yeah, we'll take, uh, we would take eight blocks every night, too, trust me. Um, uh, that that's um, that's a good number, especially for my team. You know, we're we're not uh, we're, we don't have all that uh, uh, that rim protection that that uh, some teams have. And and but Mike's done a good job the last two games of of affecting some shots. So um, just another thing that he's doing to really really help our our team. When, when your offense is is flowing in regards to the ball movement, is is that uh, a help towards um, getting some secondary? Uh, scores to emerge. Absolutely. When when the ball moves, um, when the ball moves, it, it's you know now if guys are cutting and doing what they're supposed to do, everybody's a threat because guys should be taking their cuts towards the goal a lot and not just running out to be receivers, but make threatening cuts to the goal. And as good a passing team as we have, and I do think we have a good passing team, you know we, we're we, we can run effective offense and and. Um, and if that guy that cuts to the goal doesn't get it, then then probably the guy that set the screen pops back is going to have something. He's either going to have a shot or a drive. And and so um, ball movement is – the first thing I wrote up on the board tonight before the game, relentless ball and player movement. That's the first thing I wrote up, first first thing for us. And, um, uh, again, we're, we're a work in progress. We're not a, we're, we're not a finished product by any stretch of the imagination. But um, – we asked them to get better and do some better things defensively, and they did. We've got to, we've got to guard the three better, but, um, but that's okay.